Hello and welcome. So, last week we finished up, like, everything we can really do in the market district at this point. So now we're here. I'm going to head out the gates, gates of the city. The plan at this point is, is to get to Lake Kalanhad and, and do a couple things along the way there. There, I believe there's a side quest we can hit and also so checking out the uh, old warden fortress it will be done and hey look at that yes. <clears throat> there are more places in the city we can go so let's start by investigating the pearl Here we are. Ah, nice, there's a bouncer in here. This place oh. stinks of desperation. Hmm. Thank you, Sten. Tell your captain that our deal is now ironclad. Ironclad? Is that a smith joke? Because I'm a dwarf, because we're both dwarves. Not the direction you face to use a door, but okay. That scamp Pylon sent you, right? Glad he hasn't forgotten about us. The mercenaries are right there. If you're here about other things, you can speak up. Someone needs to put you in your place. She's too good. Be off with you now, and be glad I only took from you your gold. <laughs> Fool. Hmm. Interesting. As you say. Hello, mercenary. Turn around and walk, stranger. This affair is for white falcons only. Who or what are the White Falcons? We're the toughest, meanest, and loudest mercenary band from the Free Marches. If you haven't heard of us yet, you will soon. Now get out. I'm sure what style of arms is supposed to be. Looks like it might be... I'm remembering a name called Splint Mail um, from D&D, which I don't know actually actually existed or not. Sure, why they do that and not just do brigandine or something like that. By order of the guard, vacate the premises. Get a load of this guard. You're telling us what to do? Nobles want solid, reliable soldiers, not riffraff. Uh, you have a point there. Man, let's clear out. <laughs> Don't, don't want to get on Hurricane's bad side, do we? Tell Krylon I owe him one. Hey, there's a pie. Can't eat the pie here. Yes, what? Is it customary where you're from to give complete strangers questioning looks? Uh, no, I'm trying to talk to you. What just happened over there? Some of them never learn. If Isabella consents to play a game with you, it's an honor. You do not ask for compensation if you lose. What can you tell me about her? Isabella commands the crew on the siren's call. She is a remarkable woman, and as you saw, Quite formidable. She calls herself a duelist. But you cannot pay me enough to duel her. I'm not so stupid as those two. Duelist? 
You should ask yeah. Isabella. I do not know how to explain. Who are you? They call me Casavir. I'm first mate on Captain Isabella's ship. More than this, you do not need to know. Isabella's a ship's captain? You are surprised. Isabella is no ordinary woman. Isabella commands the crew on the siren's call. She is a remarkable woman, and as you saw, quite formidable. She calls herself a duelist. But you cannot pay me enough to duel her. I'm not so stupid as those two. What went on between them? Did you not see? They wanted money back. Some of them never learn. If Isabella consents to play a game with you, it's an honor. You do not ask for compensation if you lose. I should be going. Good forgiveness for repeating dialogue. Hi. Something on your mind? Uh, no, actually. Hmm. Curious about the color of the different names. Oh, hey. Hi. Ah, the Grey Warden. And I had heard that all the Ferelden Wardens were killed or exiled from this place. Oh, don't look so surprised. I've seen many of your kind in my journeys, and there is always something... odd about you. Huh, <laughs> strong hands. Could I entice you to leave your order and sign up as one of my crewmen? I could use those strong hands at my... helm. I don't know anything about sailing. The ship is the best teacher. She will guide you with her sighs, her shudders, her gentle swaying as she rides the crests of the waves. When you become one with her, instinct takes over. Your fighting skills are impressive. I assume you saw that little drama. None of these poor brutes has ever proven a match for me. They are too clumsy and predictable. I fight with quickness and wit, rather than with brute force and strength. I call myself a duelist because I honed my skills in duels with warriors I encountered over the years. Will you teach me how to be a duelist? <laughs> An unusual request, coming from a fearsome slayer of Darkspawn. I am flattered that you wish to learn from me, sweet thing. It will take you years of practice to achieve true mastery of the style but I can teach you the basics. I do, however, wish to get to know my potential student better, so we shall call for a drink, and you will honor me with a game. All right, what game? Have you ever played Wicked Grace? It is easy to learn, but difficult to master. You must watch your opponent's moves as carefully as your own. Before we start, the cards must be shuffled. Shall I, or would you like to? I will shuffle the cards. Good. Go ahead, then. Are you done yet? Five cards each to start with, and may the cleverest player win. Is it my turn again? Continue playing the game. I shall draw another card, and you may draw another, too, if you wish. Wait, you just drew a card you discarded before. Hmm, you mean this card? Your memory is impressive. You have proven yourself quick and resourceful, and I would be honored to pass my skills on to you. Teach me now. Come, we will need some space for this. All right. Now let's investigate the back rooms. Uh, unlock that. Iron ring. I could have had
handled it. Thanks. I think I need to go hide somewhere. Yeah. Can't remember. Comment on. So, books, like prior to you know, printing press and that such, tended to be expensive and difficult to make. So, like even the largest libraries didn't necessarily have a lot of volumes. And so, one of the things I suspect is that. Um, you wouldn't have this many books in a brothel. And to be as I don't know if I mentioned this before, but you know, literacy wasn't as rare as is commonly thought, but it still was that you know, one person out of a household would know letters and thus be able to read and write at a fairly basic level. So a brothel having this many books um, would be unusual. Might be trying to cater to a uh, very particular kind of clientele, like high class, or maybe even like you know priests. Of course. Let's see. will rise again. I like how interesting how you can hear their voices, but it's this it's from the very far away away. Ah. Another Grey Warden supporter. Not just a supporter, Payton. That's a Grey Warden. He's the one Arl Howe was looking for. Our trap landed a Warden. You've got one chance to surrender. Trap landed two wardens. I'm surprised you don't recognize the second one. Though again, framed Grey Wardens. For what it's worth, I believe you. Not that I particularly care. <laughs> We're not common guards, Warden. We're house elite. Shavra, Tenant, and Jarvi. Let's kill ourselves a warden. Very well. It's 
So, I think that is a thing that people might have thought of. Of mercenaries, is at the time. Like, most of they don't actually care about what's right or what's good. They don't actually have loyalty, they just want money. Of course. Hello, Progress. Um, I have unfortunate news. There's a mess to clean up in one of your of your rooms. Um, not the usual kind, unfortunately. Welcome to the Pearl. I'm Sangha, the proprietor. Have a seat, get comfortable, and tell me what you need. Every one of my people here is a skilled craftsman, and don't let anyone tell you different. You'll have to go one at a time, I'm afraid. Our rooms aren't quite big enough to share between so many. But we can discuss that in a moment. So what would you like me to show you? The men or the women? Or some of both, if you prefer. I'm pretty sure some of those rooms would be big enough to have an entire party in. Uh, never mind. Come again. I didn't in the first place. I've got nothing to say to you. Okay. All right, let's see what other trouble we can get into. I was hoping I'd find you. I heard about the Pearl. I don't know how, but you got them to leave with no fuss at all. The Pearl's workers will... Nobody gives orders to my men but me. A little lesson in respect is in order. I see. Don't bother sparing these lights. Things are about to get messy. More foes. Hmm. City cars appear to be doing so well. Could I trouble you, Path, to speak? Oh, for me. Oh, 
Someone here. Yes, there is. And people actually voluntarily attack you. Are they just stupid? Here's the payment I promised. I might have more work if you're interested. But I'm heading back to the market district. Back alleys are just too dangerous for me. Oh, yes. Typical law enforcement. As you say. You were supposed to be keeping us safe, but you know, instead, we decide some areas things are just too dangerous for you. Okay. Yes. I can do it. Okay. 
Yes. Mm. Oh, you just stood there watching this, so I killed a bunch of people. Alright, well, hi. Yes? I have a letter for you from the Blackstone regulars. Alright, let me take a look. What? This is terrible. My beloved. Alright, this looks like it's going to be the next on the way. Probably won't be. Oh, what was that? Kind of interruption. What? Lever, do oh, huh, interesting. Hello. Yes. What? There I go again, asking why. The random loot that people have it doesn't make sense. Alright. 
Let's continue our yes. What? Just target this guy, keep attacking him. healing spells. Okay. Yes. It will be done. Yes. Of course. Our continued friendship is guaranteed. All right, let's check this one out next. That, based on the map, that does not seem like the most direct route to there, but okay. You! We're about to send the boys to hunt you down! Boss says kill him! Yeah! I need to fight you.
also has that mix. I'm wondering, why are they attacking the mage? Like, oh, right. The mage just caused the ground to shake. That would be a reason to be like, okay, let's, let's get rid of that one immediately. You say. Very well. Yeah, I mean, as I said, this is. Exactly this sort of thing is probably the reason that uh, a lot of medieval cities and people didn't like it when you ran around in full battle kit. Um, so, Frieden. Looks like they had a very unfortunate, very interesting time. Of course. This you seal your guild success. A uh, guild? <coughs> I don't have a guild. Place in the deserter, I wonder what he's done. What business will the mighty Grey Wardens have with a man like me? And again, everyone here recognizes the fact that I'm a Grey Warden. I'm here on behalf of the Blackstone Regulars. Oh? What was this about? I'm pretty sure you'd know about that. I'm kind of surprised that I can't do both of these. Uh, here to bring in for desertion. I worried this might happen. I hoped it wouldn't be you who came for me. I have no choice. Forgive me, Warden, but I cannot go back with you. And so he said, I hoped it wouldn't be you, but you don't know me, dude. Why are you talking about that? But another thing I want to talk about is horns on helmets. This, my understanding, really were not a thing in period. At least, ways not. I think there were. There's like one example of a ceremonial headpiece that had something like horns on it. But yeah, this sort of thing, which I also see on some of the dark spawn, it's extra weight. It doesn't add protection, and it's something that can get hit. It and it probably will get hit. Hit and you know knock your head about a bit, or potentially knock your helmet off. So, yeah, not something that was done, really. Yeah. 
Yeah, dude, this is kind of the time when you say, um, hey! Right about the time when you say, hey, um. Hey, can we talk about this? Um, I would like to keep being alive. I'm not sure I mentioned this, but I think there is talking about how, like, they generally in medieval cities and settlements, you wouldn't be allowed to walk around like this. But I think there are one to two exceptions. That one is like on-duty soldiers, so who, who you're, you're like, drafted, you're in war, or where you would be allowed how to have your armor and weapons on you. City guard are basically also on-duty soldiers. Knights, as I understand, would be allowed to have their sword on them, basically, at all times. But they were also functionally professional soldiers, so it was basically just you have to be a professional soldier to walk around with weapons on you. Um, yeah, everyone did have daggers, but at that point, daggers were, they were tools, eating utensils. Was, yeah, you could use them to stab a person, but they had a lot, they had a lot more utility than, than we generally think of it these days. As you say. Deserted building. That definitely doesn't have the most direct route. Hmm. Doesn't look all that deserted. There are whole lot of books here. Fire going. What is that? A trap? You will need to fight. Both fighting one mercenary. Well, Wayne is facing up against two. That's great.
some kind of trap. Yes, yes it is. As you say. You guys coming? Switch to that. What? It's blood mage. As you wish.
Hmm. Three-headed deep stalker? Creepy. Looks like something very wholesome happened here. You did very well. was impressive. So Stan, how do you feel about, you know, killing the only others you're... species that we're encountering. Never, I suppose you came up the queue and they probably would consider that to be perfectly alright, because this guy has at least allegedly officially left the queue. And therefore at the very least Bashoth, if not Talbashoth. Yes, yes it is.
shall I strike? At your command. Yes. Very well. I go. It will be done. It shall be as you say. This is a waste of time. Now you die! Atosh Munari! So shall it be. Die! Epostisal! As you say. Ashkos Zehisra! This will not end well for you. As you wish. By the stone I shall prevail. You battle a Konari! Nera Perasad! There is no hope. It will be done. Flee while you can. Um. Alistair, what the fuck are you doing? Start shooting. In By the storm, I shall prevail. So I'll get back here. There is much to do. Win? Use an entry kit. Indeed.
very well. An enemy oh, lies. Sten, stop trying to get into that room. It is done. There are guns in my hand. Work well together. Be wary. What the f Oh, you moron. And that's wind, too. Why did you do that, Win? Why? What? I shall Stan, stop being a dumbass. <laughs> Here, mass heal. Shall I strike? I'm 
Buster. Okay, Sten, you don't want to do anything. You, go kill him. Um, why isn't it wind coming back? Why? That was rather unpleasant, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Of course. Now we're seeing a good an illustration of why you don't put mages on the front lines. I know not how you have survived thus far. Is it luck or providence? No matter. You will not survive this!
Okay, that seemed a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. What curious mirrors! Yes. Back to Market District. Oh, yes, this thing, this very frustrating thing, where I can clearly see the trap here. But I can't do anything about it. Yes. Immediately. As you wish. On it. Well, as you like, I have an idea. As you say, we are a As you want to die, this is annoying. Let us end this. Of course. Orders. You shall not Uh, 
No win, no. Ready. Okay, I'm going to experimentally see how long I can stare at this wire and still not see the trap. Okay, I don't have the patience for this anymore. I'm not sure if it's a thing that I don't have the uh, skills up high enough to notice that. I feel like I should, though, but, yeah. Here we go. the work of our maker's hand, from the lowest slaves to the highest kings, those who bring ham without provocation to the least of his children are breaded and cursed by the maker. Those who bring ham? Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. Ah, sure, dump the bag. Magic exists to serve man and never. A little something extra for friendship. Thank you. Good to see you back. Need any more help? I've got complaints in the Nord Noble Tavern that some mercenaries have invaded. Nothing violent has happened. The cell swords are probably just disturbing the nobles' rarefied conversation. Just drum the louts out of there. The barkeep doesn't mind some blood, or sport, as she called it. Captain said Denrim won't miss a few dead mercenaries. Do what you will, and good luck. Oh, I, I just noticed what that... 
was hanging above the door. That's supposed to be a dragon with someone hanging out its mouth. Interesting. Hello. What can I get you, stranger? Uh, I finished favor from your interested parties. Not and leave. What can I get you, stranger? Ah, uh, anyone need help? Is strictly legal. Crimson Oars? You haven't heard of us. We're mercenaries from all over the world. We have won many battles, and tonight we drink before the next. And you're drinking you drink here. Yeah. Ducks have much better bars. We happen to like the ale better here, the wine too. Less vomit on the floor. So long as we're paying, they're serving! <laughs> This bar's for nobles, and nobles can make your life hard. Nobles? Hmm. You may have a point there. Fine. We'll leave. We don't want trouble with nobles. Good job clearing those louts out. Hmm. Well, you're welcome. Edwina sends her thanks for getting rid of the Crimson Oars. Mind you, she's disappointed there was no fighting. Here's payment. You've helped out a great deal. I have something for you. The Market District is a whole sight better because of what you've done for us. I know this may not be much, but it's an extra thanks. A lot of folks swallow whatever lies are fed to them, but us believers will try and spread word about you and the Wardens. Thanks. Awesome. All right. Dwarven crafts. Fine dwarven craft. You do your father proud, my lord. May I see your wares? Certainly. You do me great honor, my lord. All right. There you Or Haven is at this point. Interesting. Anyway, so now to go off to camp. I lied to you, you know, about why I left all eight. <gasps> Liar! I knew you weren't telling me something. I didn't feel like talking about it then. What happened to me? Maybe it will affect us. Maybe not, but. You should know. I came to Ferelden and the Chantry because I was being hunted in Orlais. That 
commas if necessary. Anyway. Fascinating. Tell me more. I was framed. Betrayed by someone I thought I knew and could trust. Marjolaine. She was my mentor and friend. She taught me the bardic arts, how to enchant with words and song, to carry myself like a highborn lady, to blend in as a servant. The skills I learned, I used to serve her, my bardmaster, because I loved her and because I enjoyed what I did. How did she betray you? You can say it was my fault. There was a man I was sent to kill. I was to bring Marjolaine everything he carried. I don't know who this man was. She gave me a name and a description, and I hunted him down. I found documents on his body. Sealed documents. You opened them, didn't you? My curiosity got the better of me. Something told me that I needed to know what was in those letters. Marjolaine had been selling all kinds of information about Orlais to other countries. Nevara and Antiva, among others. It was treason. Isn't that what bards do? Some. But I had always assumed Marjolaine only operated within Orlais. This was an unhappy surprise for me. My life as bard taught me that my loyalties should be kept fluid. My concern was not that she was a traitor, but that her life would be in danger if she was caught. Orle has been at war with so many countries. It takes a harsh view of such things, as I later discovered. Most countries don't appreciate treason. I should have left well alone, but I didn't. I had to tell Marjolaine I feared for her life. She brushed aside my concern. She admitted her guilt, but said it was in the past. That is why the documents had to be destroyed, she said. I believed her. I kept believing up till the moment they showed me the documents, altered by her hand to make me look the traitor. Who's they? The Orlesian guards. They captured me. Did terrible things to make me confess and reveal my conspirators. It was a traitor's punishment I endured. And at the end of it, all that awaited me was eternity in an unmarked grave. So, that's what did terrible things to her to make her confess. So I understand, yes, torture was considered an acceptable way of trying to get information out of people. But they... My impression is they also knew the limitations and knew that the, uh, you could, enough pain could cause someone to basically admit to anything, even things they hadn't actually done. And so, even, like, the Middle Ages, it was known that torture wasn't always necessarily a reliable way of getting information from. How did you get out? The skills Marjolaine taught me were good for something, at least. I broke free when I saw the opportunity. I did not seek Marjolaine out. If she thought I was coming for her, she would have me caught again. Yeah, that's the thing that... I understand, like, it's only been relatively recently that you can't just disappear. I mean, it wasn't that long ago that even, like, in the United States, you could move to a new town, change your name, and functionally disappear, and that's even with a system in place to record all the people who were there. In, like, pre-modern times, there are often, I mean, they might have had records, but that records were not necessarily centralized and didn't necessarily check, so you there happened to be a census while well, you're in the area, you can just give them a false name and they won't connect it to anything. And so you came to Ferelden, to Lothering. I was tempted to confront her. I was furious, betrayed. But what could I do against her? 
And so I fled to Ferelden, to the Chantry and the Maker. Ferelden protected my person, and the Maker saved my soul. And that is the reason I am here. The real reason. No more lies between us, at least in this. At least in this, so there could be lies between us about other things. You will be safe in my company. It feels good to have this off my chest. Thank you for listening and understanding. I really dislike that armor. Um, <laughs> what's she just warming her hands by my chest? <laughs> okay. And that'll be the point at which I call it for this, this one. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And have a good night. Do any relevant things with YouTube's buttons before you go.